Hey guys, it's Mike, real estate agent here in Boston, Massachusetts, and in today's video, finally, we are doing our deep dive into Seaport. We're doing these videos every single week, so please let me know in the comments what area you would like me to cover next. First, we're going to take a look at the five-year appreciation from 2019 all the way up to 2023, so basically pre-pandemic and then post-pandemic levels, and then we'll break it down on a per-bedroom basis. Now, the reason these videos are so important is because certain bedroom counts in certain neighborhoods could produce different results. One bedrooms may sell for more or less than two bedrooms and vice versa. So if you're looking in Seaport, you want to buy a place in Seaport or you're looking to sell in Seaport, this is going to be very good information for you to make an educated decision. So let's get into the video. Okay, so first of all, let's look at what has happened over the last five years in Seaport. We got 2019 all the way up to 2023. Now, the biggest thing that I see here in the sales column, 236 sales in 2019, only 124 sales in 2023. That is almost half of the sales. And if you watch my channel, you follow my channel, you know I talk about supply and demand. That is really what drives most sales and the real estate market. And what happens in one neighborhood may not happen in another neighborhood. Now, what we could see here in the average sale column, we were at about $2.2 million in 2019. We saw a massive drop when the pandemic happened in Seaport. It was huge, okay? And then we started to recover here. And then we were down a little bit here in 2022, a lot of uncertainty with interest rates. That's basically what happened in 2022. 2023, things were still on the upward trend for interest rates, but people became used to that, okay? It's uncertainty when people don't buy or sell. When they become used to seeing something and it is the new norm, then they get in their position where they're either looking to buy or sell. So we have surpassed the 2019 market in 2023 in terms of the average sale price. Now, in terms of the median sale price, median is where the bulk of the sales are. And this is important if you're looking in Seaport and you're not looking at something that's like, let's say, $2 million plus, okay? If you're like in the $1.5 million price range or $1.75 million price range, this is important. All right, so 2019, we're at about $1.8 million. Saw, again, a massive drop in 2020. 2021, we saw recovery. 2022, again, when interest rates started to creep up, people were hesitant. And now in 2023, we've recovered, but we're still not at the 2019 levels. Now, again, that is for the median price per square foot. That is where the majority of sales are. Average pulls highest high and lowest lows. So you could have a sale that's like seven plus million dollars in Seaport that could alter that data. So that is very important to note, okay? And that's also reflected in this chart down here from 2019 all the way up to 2023. So as you can see, the median sale price is just not even close to where it was in 2019, where the average sale price has surpassed, but not much in 2023 versus 2019 here. OK, this is my favorite part of the video because we get to break things down on a per bedroom basis. And not only that, we're going to look at average and median data. This is very important if you're looking to either buy or sell in Seaport in 2024. OK, starting with studios, obviously not a lot of studio sales. There was a, three more versus the last year. There was only 13, 16 this year. Price appreciated slightly. OK, price appreciated slightly. We're up about 8% for studios, okay? That's for the average. For the median, we are up 12%, 725 versus 812. Looking forward into one bedrooms, we went up massively for the average sale price, 1.157 all the way up to 1.474 million. So there was a 27% appreciation and an 18% appreciation for the median sale price. Now, the reason that's relevant is because 2021 and then 2022, we saw a negative two drop here. We saw a negative one drop here. But look at this. Now, this is coming from 2020 into 2021. We only saw 1% increase here and only an 8% increase here. So there was massive movement for one bedrooms. And I think maybe that had a lot to do with this number here, which is the number of sales. Again, demand is a huge deal, especially when there's not enough inventory. Now, again, if you watch my channel, the majority of sales that happen in Boston are two bedroom 
condos. That is what developers and builders uh, focus on the most. It's where the bulk of the sales are. So this is going to be very interesting. Look at this. 2021, again, 2021 was crazy. That's where interest rates were low. They started to creep up by the end of the year. 123 sales, only 59 sales. Okay, crazy. So look at this, though. Only 8% appreciation versus 18% last year. But again, we are still up uh, significantly for two bedrooms. We're up almost or just over $200,000 uh, versus last year. Now, again, median sale price. We're only up 10%, but that is still significant, all right? Because when you're working with these big numbers, 10% is actually a huge jump from 2.159 million all the way up to 2.375 million dollars, okay? And again, a lot of that has to do with the amount of inventory that we're seeing. Again, 2022 was a low inventory year for two bedrooms, all right? That's the difference between one beds and two beds. We saw negative appreciation here and here, but in 2022, because of the amount of inventory that we had, which was not a lot, we saw plus 18% here and then plus 14% here. Okay, now before we get into the three bedrooms, I want to take note of this, that the more data you have, the better. The less data you have, while it's still data, it's still something to go off of, it's really hard to get an accurate representation of what's happening in the market. Any data is good data, but what I'm about to show you is there's not a lot of sales that happened in 2023 for three plus bedrooms, all right? Look at this. There's only seven sales in 2023. So what happened because of the lack of three bedrooms, we had plus 26% from 2022 to 2023 in terms of the average sale price. And you can see that reflected here, almost $6 million all the way up to 7.5 million. And then here, a huge, huge jump from 5.5 four or five million all the way up to 8.25 million which was a 51 percent jump now does that mean that if you're looking for a three plus bedroom condo in seaport it's going to cost you over eight million dollars not necessarily okay it's it does not mean that because obviously the data is skewed the median sale price is even higher uh, than the average sale price which is very rare to see so again only working on seven sales very very difficult now one last thing that I want to show you, and maybe one of the most important columns here, is average days on market. Now, something to consider here is, I wish they showed you the median days on market because that's more relevant, but look at the difference between 2021, 2022, and 2023, right? Then look at the one bedrooms, eight days to offer. Two bedrooms, obviously, Again, we're looking at averages. That means there could have been some dinosaur on the market from 2015 that really pumped that up. But for the most part, two bedrooms are taking a much longer time to sell than a one bedroom is, okay? And then in 2023, only 28 days, and that's again because of the amount of inventory. Okay, now we're gonna do something interesting and take a look at what square footage brackets are selling in Seaport. And again, the reason this is important is because maybe you don't necessarily need two bedrooms, but you need a bigger condo unit. There's opportunities within these brackets between bedroom count, between square footage, and obviously in different neighborhoods. So let's take a look and see what has happened here. 700 square foot or less. Now again, this is probably your studio, maybe up to your one bedroom condo. We saw negative 11% appreciation. So what that means is if you're stopping your search criteria at let's say uh, 500 to 700 square feet for a condo, maybe there is some negotiability because we saw negative appreciation from 2022 to 2023 for the average sale price, negative 21% for the median sale price, okay? Now, once you start to get into larger brackets, 700 to 1,000, that could perhaps be a two-bedroom condo, maybe still uh, teetering on the one-bedroom condo, up 29%, and then up 43% for the medium, which is crazy in my opinion, and that's based on only 21 sales. Now again, supply and demand issue, right? There wasn't that many 700 to 1,000 square foot condos listed in Seaport last year. That's why the number of sales are down, all right? And that's also reflected here in the average days on market, only eight days. And again, average is very, very skewed data for days on market, okay? 1,000 to 1500 we saw 11% appreciation for average and only 4% appreciation for median. That is still appreciation, which is good for the overall health of the city. All right, 1500 to 1800, 5%. 
1800 to 2400 4%, 12%. Now we're starting to get into the obviously more expensive, maybe more luxury or just larger units and bigger buildings, all right? And then over 2400 5%, and then 24%. Again, we're only looking at minimal amounts of data, only five sales here, 15 sales here, 12 sales here. Now, if you're looking to buy or sell in Seaport, this is a good starting point, but is not the end game when you're looking for a condo here. The reason being is that there is a lot of new construction buildings here. There is a lot of newer construction buildings here, let's say from 2018, 2019 plus. And what happens in one building does not necessarily translate to another building. And that's due to amenities, the amount of amenities that are offered in the building. Also, the cost of the HOA and those amenities is very, very relevant. So again, this is a good starting point, but if you want very detailed information if you're looking to buy a condo in a specific building or sell a condo in a very specific building, as long as there's comparables in that building, you could really, really get a hyper accurate representation of what you may be paying or what you may be getting if you're looking to sell in one of these buildings in Seaport. Thanks for watching the video, guys. I'm going to post a link in the comments below. You can download this chart. You can look at this chart yourself and make an educated decision whether you're looking to buy or sell. If you need any help in Seaport, you want to buy a condo, you want to potentially sell a condo, get it ready, X, Y, or Z, give me a call. Happy to help. See you on the next one, guys. Bye-bye.